Oh, this is gonna be bad. Bye, Rob! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe they're bulls. I don't know. Han. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Uh, be prepared. Here we go. Let's go slow mo. Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, we just devoured a whole town. Oh no, there's a tornado attacking the western town. Question is, does it do any damage? Oh! Oh no, it's got a shockwave in it. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. Today we are back and Bob is stuck in the wild west here. We have a full-blown western town. Wow. This is impressive. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun blowing this up. So today is going to be a bit of a random episode of Brick Rigs because I have a lot of random creations. Like a lot of these don't even make sense. I was like, man, what kind of adventure could Bob get himself into? And then I looked into the creations. I was like, I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're just going to wind up playing with the creations and blowing up a bunch of stuff today. So you're probably going to get a mixture of all the Bobs, including a mixture of normal Bob, burnout Bob, and every other Bob that you can think of. So yeah, we're going to be doing that here today. If you want to download any of the creations you see here in today's episode, that's going to be linked down in the description. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. All right, Bob might have lied. Bob is not stuck in the Wild West. There's a modern road right there. We're actually in the canyon map. But this is a Wild West town. Now, this is using some of the... I want to say this is using some of the new update blocks. Like, check this out up here. Look at this water tower. That is one block, I believe. We have uh, some sort of scalable blocks now in Brick Rigs, and yeah, this is going to change the game a bit for creators, so you're probably going to see some really unique stuff coming up here really soon. So, we got this cool western town by Toporus. Probably heard that name before. He comes out with tons of cool creations. And yeah, we might actually use this here very soon in maybe multiplayer, because I figured out... Uh, you can spawn this in multiplayer. It's actually not that big. It's only like 1,700 bricks. So we've got everything from a weapon shop, which is uh, loaded with dynamite, and it's on its side a little bit. All the guns have spilled out. Hello, good sir. Whoa, these bobs. Uh, these are uh, these are tall bobs. Oh, this is kind of makes me feel a little weird. All right, let's go into here. What do we got to jail? Oh, there's another bob. He's hanging out. Uh, where's the sheriff at? Uh, I don't see him. So what else do we have here? We got the saloon. There's a little ranch here with uh, what do you call these mutant cows? <laughs> oh, these are creepy looking. Uh, oh, look the hay bales. That's got to be a scalable block right there. Look at that. That is cool. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and go over to the saloon. I, I want to check this out before I completely explode it. So let's walk up into here. Uh, what's going on, fine people? Uh, oh, look, they're playing. Uh, oh, they're playing cards. Okay, what's this? Is this money? Yeah, it's a. Uh, Money it says money. Uh, what's the hand like? I don't know what that is. It looks like a star or something. Uh, there's an ace. Uh, on. I think I've knocked over everything in the saloon. Maybe there was a fight here, and he's got an ace queen. Huh. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like they serve uh, some uh, nice beverages here. We got the uh, the bartender. We can walk into the back. Seems like they've spilled all the beverages in the back. This is a mess back here. You know, this town is a little hard to spawn in the canyon map because the way it sets and how big it is, there's not a really, really flat area <laughs> in this map. So when you spawn it, the buildings go a little uh, a little weird. But I wanted to spawn it out here. It just feels so much better out here in the canyon map uh, than in the city. And oh, that poor soul. Sorry. Uh, let's go up here. There's a bank. Ooh, wait a minute. What's this bank got in the back of... Ooh. Wait. Wait a minute, can we open this? Uh, how do you open up a safe in the Wild West? You just blow it open? Hold on, let's look inside real quick. <gasps> Ooh, this thing is packed with gold. Man, they get the challenges. We could do like another Cops and Robbers, except for it's like Western edition. Pretty sure we have some like uh, horse and buggy creations we could use. Uh, there's a train. The train fell down. It's got a little uh, straight piece of rail that you can actually drive it up. And here is the train. Uh, this is the tickets. And where's this going to take us? It's going to take us to the Carbon Town? Ah, okay. Does he say anything dip? Oh, didn't knock that one off. Okay, I think these all say Carbon Town. That's pretty cool. A lot of detail here. A lot of uh, really cool creations. I do like the uh, the wood texture he's using. And he made everything look like it's made out of like uh, logs. Uh, really nice detail. But 
you know, this is Brick Riggs, and you know what we are here for. We're gonna blow this thing up. Let's, uh, let's explode it. Now, when I said today that we have random creations, this is about as random as it gets. Yes, that is a huge hammer. <laughs> it's like a hammer tank. It's some sort of weird mechanical being. Look at the, like, the little pistons that are shooting out the side. This thing's crazy looking. So, yeah, uh, the creator, it's in Russian, so I'll go ahead and just link it down in the description instead of attempting to uh, read that. Uh, but I can only imagine what was going through his head. He just wants to see stuff smashed. So... One thing that you cannot do with this uh, hammer tank is go in slow mode because uh, when you go in slow mode, it does this. It starts to get this crazy hop going, and eventually this thing will basically just take itself off the ground. Like, look at it; it's just flying right now. So, uh, no slow mo, unfortunately, for this. But we're gonna smash the hammer town, and we're gonna start with the uh, the ranch there with the cows or the the steers or the whatever you want to call them bulls. Maybe they're bulls. I don't know. Hold on. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It smashes them instantly. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Oh! <laughs> Wait. Okay, those are. Oh, look at that. You know, this thing is not gonna smash quite the way that normal creation smash. Look how big the pieces are, since it's the scalable bricks. So when you hit, like, say, the gun store here, look how big the roof pieces. Oh! Oh! There was explosives in that. You know, there was a bob in that too. Oh, uh, let's, uh, let's break the bob out of jail real quick. <laughs> oh, the saloon is gonna be so satisfying to watch it smash. Okay, here comes the jail. Oh! Oh, we just threw it. Oh, I see pieces of bob flying. Alright, let's, uh, let's eat into the saloon here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, those are individual log pieces. Oh, that is too cool. Oh, oh, look at all the, uh, the alcohol that's shooting out the back. <laughs> oh, dude! Dude, that is awesome. I like this hammer a lot. Oh, there goes the gold. Oh, I'm gonna crash through the, uh, get into the rail station. Man, I almost feel like this could be a challenge in itself. How fast can you smash the town? Like, if I was actually trying there, I feel like we could have done that a lot quicker. Hold on, the, uh, is that the gel? Yeah, the gel's in too good of shape. We don't allow this in brick rigs. You gotta explode. There you go! That's what I'm talking about. That is, yeah, we flattened the uh, the western town with a hammer. Man, this is gonna be a random episode, folks. I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. Uh, let's give it one more little run through, just kind of uh, tenderize it just a little bit. Uh, hold on, let's try to hit this water tower. It's how many pieces? Okay, so it's got that one big piece there. It's like a cylinder. All right, so hold on, let's uh let's survey the damage. Let's go ahead and hop out of this. Uh, Survey set. Is this thing still pounding the ground? Oh, that is frightening looking. I think it is time to uh, move over to the city, and we've got some other creations that we're going to test out here. All right, so our second creation of mass destruction here. This is the uh, the Ultimate Crusher by MNB. Now, how does this work? Okay, said so put it in God mode, and I think these huge crushing... I'm assuming these are crushing arms. Uh, they come down and they slap the bottom, so whatever you put, that sounded so wrong by the way, uh, but whatever you put here at the bottom of this, these arms come down and crush it. Can we fit a town in here? Is that a, is that a thing? You know, I almost feel like we could. I know we can fit a building in here. Hold on, let's get up in the, uh, let's just test it first. Uh, so it says hit uh, W, no, it's S. Hit S, okay, here we go. S, oh no. Wait, how does that do that? Is that like actuators there at the bottom? Oh. Man, this even seems evil for somebody like Burnout Bob. Uh, okay, let's stick some stuff in here. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. Hmm. All right, folks, I think my computer's gonna hate me for this. So I've spawned in the complete Waffle City. And will this fit? Oh, this is gonna fit, isn't it? No. Okay, hold on. Let's set the city here. This might be the first time we've completely crushed a city. Like, we've tried it with meteors and stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, it fits! Oh, no. Oh, oh, what just happened? Oh. Is that normal when you get out of a building and it combusts into flames? Okay. Well, we're gonna have to ignore that that building even exists. All right, so I've got everything slowed down because I think we might... I don't know what's gonna happen, actually. I think we might crash the game here because... I don't think Brick Riggs likes when things intersect and go into each other, and I don't see any way around it with the big smushy arms. So, 
Uh, be prepared. Here we go. Let's go slow mo. Oh, uh oh, uh, uh oh. Oh, we just devoured a whole town. Oh no. Oh, uh, slideshow. On. Uh, okay. Wait. Where'd the town go? Wait a minute. No, that did not just work. That really just worked. Hey, there's a flying donut. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna have so much inappropriate fun with this. Oh, that sounded wrong too. No, I'm gonna stick things. Never mind. You know what? We're gonna grab maybe a tower. Can we stick a tower in here? Maybe the Waffles Tower. I can't believe it just absolutely annihilated that whole town. Like, I think the only building that might have somewhat escaped is the, uh, I think this was the bank, and it was only because it kind of got missed. Well, I wouldn't say missed. I would say it only got hit by half the arm here. Uh, can I reset the arms? Can I, like, make them go back? Uh, let's go, uh, let's get back in the creation. Can I go W? Will they... Oh, they do! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, that was a mistake! Oh, that was a mistake! Oh, we're flying through the air! Oh, there's pieces of town going everywhere. Okay, eject, Bob! Eject! Ooh. Where's it going? Look at the amount of pieces everywhere! Hey, we're beating some of the pieces to the ground. Oh, this is... This is magical. Ah, uh, one of my favorite buildings in Brick Rigs. The Waffle Tower with all the Bobs in it. The Bobs are just minding their own business. Uh, we're gonna move this. Ooh. Wait, these arms reach each other, so if I moved it here, this should be fine. I want to make sure it gets directly hit by one of these. So if I stick it there, it gets hit by those two on that side. And I think the way these things come down, there should be, if this sets right... Oh, there's one right in front of it. And one right... Uh-oh. It's already freezing. Okay. Oh, on. Oh, Brick Ricks doesn't like this. Oh, it doesn't like this at all. Okay, I'm going to attempt to switch. Oh, boy. I uh, might be able to switch. There we go. Oh, this is a stupid idea. Why does this lag more than the, uh, I guess maybe it's as many bricks as the town. Oh, it's starting to collapse. Oh, uh, slow down time. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 I think we just cut the top of it off. Oh boy, this is, wow, this is a slideshow. Actually, there is no slide. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it chopped it! It chopped the tower in half! Look at that! Oh, that is amazing! Oh, that is so cool. I almost want to stand down there when that while that happens. Problem is, uh, somebody's got to be in the driver's seat and actually activate the arms. Yeah, that, uh, if you want to destroy any creation, that is definitely the one to do it with. That, that can basically fit most items and brick rigs. Yeah, you can definitely put it in there. Wow. Alright, full speed. Oh, yeah, we just chomped the tower in two. That is amazing. Man, this is a this might turn out to be one of Bob's favorite episodes. The amount of destruction is real. All right, I could have I could probably do a whole episode on that, but we need to move on to the next thing. All right, so for our next creation here, we have a creation by Sideways, and Sideways likes to create really cool stuff. And uh, you're probably asking yourself, what is this big tower of goodness? And this is something you guys probably have in your house. Uh, except for not in this size. This is a blender. Yes, there is a blade down here. We're gonna go in god mode and we're gonna chunk stuff down the blender. Uh, that way we can't destroy the actual blender itself. And once it gets through with the blender part, it goes into the spike pit of happiness? Yeah, we're gonna call this the spike pit of happiness. And then, uh, yeah, it sets down here. Oh boy, this is gonna be very bad. Alright, let's go grab something. All right, so we're gonna start this off with a simple test. Uh, can it actually blend the bobs? So we got the bobs by CL86. We use these quite often. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just drop them in. Let's do it at full speed here. Let's go S. Uh, <gasps> oh, oh, that works way better than I thought it would. Wow. Okay. So oh, oh. Okay. Let's uh, let's go back up that. Hey, wait, <laughs> two of the bobs, they didn't go in. Huh, can I shake this? I really wish there was like a melee button. I could just punch one of them in. All right, you bobs made it. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and close that. I just hit S there, or W, there it goes. All right, so uh, I got another plan. We're going to do that in slow-mo and watch that, and then I'm going to throw some cars in here. 
All right, mob test number two. We're doing it in slow-mo this time because I want to actually go down and see this happen. Oh. Oh, this is going to be cool. Hold on, let's go down here. Is it pointed or is it just the blades on the side? I think it's just the blades on the side. All right, here we go. The one is still setting in the bench. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh they just bounce off this. Oh, here comes more of them. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, we got bobs flying everywhere. Yeah, I don't know how I would incorporate this into a story besides, hey, look, here's a big blender. All right, let's go uh, full speed. Oop, and they go down to the bottom of the pit. All right. You know, I got a kind of a question. Can we fill this thing up? I have a, I have a plan now. Let's, uh, let's just start chunking stuff into here and see how full we can get it before the game decides it doesn't like me anymore and it crashes. All right, next one to go in is going to be a school bus because uh, we're not going to school today, so we're going to go... <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, 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 that works so good. Uh oh, it's jammed. Oh, we jammed the blender. How do you unjam a blender? I know you don't stick your hand down there. You shove more stuff on it. Oh, let's go grab something else. Uh, oh, the blade's on fire. Oh, the creation's on fire. <laughs> Did some of the, oh yeah, quite a bit of the bus actually made it. You know, I probably should have tried to throw a bus. Oh, actually, it's starting to unjam itself. Yeah, it just needed a little bit of a, a little bit of spin. Oh, there it goes. Oh, the bus is gone. That looks way worse now because now it's a uh, a spinning uh, fire blade. All right, so let's go grab a let's go grab some more stuff to chunk into here. All right, next up is the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. We're gonna throw the wiener in the uh, the blender here, and I like how the one Bob is over there just watching all this go down. Like, yep, I didn't get <laughs> I didn't get caught in the first little trap. Uh, let's chunk chunk that. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Oh, uh, okay. How uh, how full are we? Uh, you know, we're not even we're barely doing anything here. Like, look how much space we have before we get to the blade. All right, so I got another creation here by Rocket Shotgun. It's called the Ragdoll Bob. Now, there was a Ragdoll Rob that was on the uh, workshop not too long ago. He was a little inappropriate because he was filled with uh, red gooeyness. <laughs> when you blended them, which we might still do it <laughs> because it might be funny. Uh, but let's stick the Bob in here real quick. All right. Bye, Bob. Uh, there goes Ragdoll, Ragdoll Bob. I keep saying Rob and oh, no, no. Uh, we kind of have to do the Rob now. Oh, uh, it's amazing. You know, it's the simple things in life that give me joy. And uh, a oversized blender and throwing Legos down it, that's like the best thing ever. Like, don't do this in real life, though. This uh, can end in a hand getting chopped off. All right, so we got Ragdoll. Oh, Ragdoll Rob is a bit laggy. Yeah, this is by Lizard. I, I think I'm saying it right. Uh, uh, this might be the one that breaks the game here. Oh, boy. Okay, this might be the one that fills the blender. All right. Say goodbye to Mr. Rob. Uh-oh. Oh, we might want to do this in slow-mo. He looks so happy. It's like a big crash test dummy, except for this one, uh, uh, this is gonna be bad. Bye, Rob! <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes Rob. There goes- wait, Rob's already missing an arm. How did you lose that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, okay, on right, full speed. Oh. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, okay. I think we need to stop using the blender. Yep, we've done it. We've done it, folks. <laughs> he still got a smile on his face. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. What does the bottom look like now? What? What do you say? I don't know if we've really filled this up too much, to be honest with you. Now, Rab Ragdoll Rob is extremely laggy because of the amount of little pegs he's got in him. Um, yeah, we're a little closer to the blade, but it's starting to lag like crazy now, and I feel like we should, uh, I feel like I should stop this, uh, before this gets out of hand. You know, this is even a little much for somebody like Bob, so what we're gonna do, what happens if I move this? Technically, all the parts that are in it should still set, so let's go, uh, move that. Oh! Oh, there's the pile of stuff that was in it! Brick Riggs is amazing, because, I mean, what other game can do this physics-wise with all these little bitty pieces that are all laying on top of each other? As a pile of Legos. All right, I better put the blender away. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next thing. 
All right, so I've got one last creation here, and this was something, uh, somebody was actually asking about this. They were like, is there a tornado in Brick Rigs? And I was like, it would be amazing if the game actually had like a tornado that you can spawn in. But uh, we've had one, it's been created by Homer. And I don't, like, I don't think it's like a really destructive tornado, but this is probably one of the most mesmerizing creations that I've ever seen. Uh, so we've spawned the, uh, the western town back in. And what this thing is, it's uh, producing a bunch of smoke, which it looks uh, kind of like a tornado. Actually, not. Let's uh, let's set the mood here. Let's go. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. So we got a little tornado here. Now you're probably asking, well, how does this work? It's got a, a little driving, like it's got four wheel. Is it steering? And it can spin itself around. But what you actually want to do, you want to hit the uh, the alt key, and it should turn on the. Oh, there's the thrusters. Okay. Let's hop out of it. And check that out. That looks so cool. Now, if you kind of start moving it, like, actually, let's get it away from the tracks here. Uh, let's go and do that. Let's get it going this way. So, let's get it spinning up. All right, so we got the tornado is spun up here. If you get it moving in the in the right direction, it actually looks like it's kind of swaying and it's moving. Actually, it looks terrible with the fire coming out of it. But check it out. It is a tornado. Now, question is, does the tornado... Oh, I got to get a different camera. Okay, let's get that camera. There we go. Now, does the tornado actually cause damage? I'm going to put it in God mode, because I'm pretty sure it needs to be in God mode. And we're going to drive the tornado. And this is going to... Oh, no! Wait, actually, hold on. Let's lock the camera. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. Okay, let's uh, let's take the tornado in the town. Oh, no! There's a tornado attacking the western town. Question is, does it do any damage? Oh! Oh, no! It's got a shockwave in it. Oh, so you can be going through and be like, all right, you know, time to blow everything over. Hold huh? on, let's go slow-mo here. What does this look like in slow-mo? Oh, that is amazing. All right, here we go. Uh, uh. <laughs> I know technically we're just blowing up the town, but it looks amazing with in combination with the tornado in the area. And it's just like ripping stuff up. This tornado looks awesome. All right, here we go. We're moving. Blow the town apart. You know, I feel like we need to do this to the Waffles town, too, since it's a, a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and get it to where we can move some. Oh, it's actually changing, like, almost like shape because of the smoke. I wonder, can you change the smoke to be a little bit darker? That would be kind of cool. Oh! Oh, we took down half the airport. Oh! You know, we need this creation, but we need it scaled up, like, by two or three. I don't know if it would balance, but... That would look so cool. Alright, you know what? These big... Actually, wow, look at the damage we did to the saloon. Oh! <laughs> the card players are... They've been pressed up against the bar area. What does this look like from out here? That's pretty cool. That is a... That's a creative... Like, it's not the most destructive thing, besides the whole fact that, yes, it does have a shockwave on it, but from a uh, creative standpoint, uh, this is something that is just awesome, and I didn't, like, at first I was like, man, this is going to be the next, uh, the Bob storyline. We're going to have a big tornado come to Brick Riggs, but it just isn't quite big enough to, I don't think it's going to be able to destroy some of the buildings besides the, uh, the standard city buildings, which, the shockwave. If we just set this right here, it's just going to be like, uh! <laughs> yeah, we just kill everything. Oh, boy. All right, we got one last test for the tornado, and then we're going to wrap this episode up. All right, so we have a severe weather day, and it seems like, you know, this actually could be Texas. We deal with this stuff all the time, but yes, it is looking pretty bad, but you have the town of Waffles, and uh, there's a tornado that's about to strike it. So let's, uh, let's get the tornado, whirl it up, and let's see what type of damage we're going to do. Oh no, here comes a tornado, and uh, wait, wait, what just happened? Oh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, that did a lot more damage actually running into it. Wait, what? Is there something that caused that to happen? Oh, uh, let's go full speed. Maybe it's the amount of thrust. So this thing probably can take out buildings. Hold on, let's go. Uh, and up, 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 up. We're spinning into it. Oh, no, don't want to spin. Oh, we're right beside it. Oh, we're right there. Come on. Uh, let's reset it. Let's spin it in. There we go, and start it up. Uh, it seems like it does damage in certain aspects of it. Like, we hit the one building, so if I were to go like, uh, oh, there we go, now we're spinning stuff up. <laughs> oh, this is too cool. Uh, let's go ahead and spin it up again. 
And get it moving. Uh, let's hit this a couple times. We're not going to completely level the town. We're just going to hit it like a... I'd say like a tornado just moved through and we'll check the damage out. So we'll keep this thing spinning up. You know, does this, does this have a first person camera? Oh, it does. Oh, what is the point of this? <laughs> oh, that made Bob dizzy. Oh, there we go. A couple more hits here. And boom. And the tornado is going to nope out of here. Can we slow this thing down? I, it's almost like once this thing starts up, it is hard to slow down. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's getting a little wobbly. No, no, counter it. Counter the spinning. Oh, we got it moving now. Oh, that is too cool. That is awesome. All right, now we're going to move the tornado out of town. We're going to say the tornado is leaving. Let's check the damage. And yes, folks, I do understand that the shockwave did majority of the damage, except for the, uh, oh, the internet cafe or the post office, whatever this was. I think it was the internet cafe. Uh, we hit that one and actually blew it up. So you, you don't get that same result every time, but look at the damage. The uh, the town, oh, the donut shop. Oh, it's completely gone. They kind of gutted the police station. You know, this actually does look like storm damage. Uh, looks like the police station's been somewhat ripped off. Uh, like knocked a wall out of the uh, the diner there. Uh, oh, stuff's still exploding. Couple buildings on fire. Uh, what was this? Was this a grocery store? Oh, this thing got completely thrown. That's cool. That is awesome. Oh boy, I'm extremely satisfied today. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this random episode of randomness and creations that I had no clue how to integrate them into the Bob storyline. But you saw plenty of chaos here today, tons of destruction. Everything's going to be linked down in the description. I highly suggest playing with some of these because I actually just want to go back after I'm done recording and go play with the big, uh, the big destroying arm thingy again. Or the ultimate destroyer, I believe is what it was called by MNB. But yeah, if you uh, have any suggestions for future Brick Rigs, comment below. It could be multiplayer suggestions, single player suggestions, whatever you want to see. Uh, just let me know. And if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. But yeah, we'll see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.